bus route is known for 10 express routes that goes out to London. And we're going to be talking about what um, new buses we could see on some of the um, future routes coming, such as SL3, SL2, I was about to say SL5 then, but it's already out, and SL4. So yeah, less time to speculate on um, what new buses we could see. And if you haven't already, make sure you go and subscribe to my YouTube channel, because soon, for my 715 subscriber special, we'll be doing a special journey on Falcon Buses Route 715. So make sure you subscribe. Okay, so let's talk about what kind of buses we could see. I mean, I did do a video on this um, before when SL5 wasn't out, but now it's out. But yes, hopefully we get to see some great buses on um, SL3 and SL2 and mainly all the other ones that are coming. Please don't tell me we're going to have more Enviro 400 EV cities. Because we have loads of them. How many do we have? SL1, SL10, and 9. That's quite a three already. They're going to take over. So, <clears throat> I definitely think on SL3, we might see, I hope to see, we could see a Genomai 3. Um, we do have a White for Clips Genomai 2 on SL7. Um, but yeah, we could definitely see one on there, or maybe another single decker. I was surprised that SL5 had a single decker, which was using the Enviro 200 darts. Or darts, should I say. But yeah, I mean, it was a pretty fun journey on there, but I can't wait for SL3, which is coming in like two weeks time now. Oh my god, I'm so excited. But yeah, I'm really surprised it might be another single decker like SL5. Could be another single decker. Never know, be like this. But I do also want to see if any sort of routes are going to get renumbered. We have X26, which was, yeah, X26 is now SL7, X140, SL9, and I've forgotten what SL1, yeah, and um, of course SL8, which, which used to be 607. Never got to, never got on SL8 or even. 607 might have done I don't really remember um, but yeah I do hope I know I've been saying it too many times but we we really need a new route master on the super loop we we really badly need one in my opinion it's probably most likely not gonna happen but yes it might happen though but which I hope so fingers crossed it happens it could be another single decker maybe like an Enviro 200 EV or like don't know, maybe, hang on, what other ones are single deckers? Um, don't know, you might even get to see even, maybe another Enviro 200 Dart or even a 200 MMC or maybe even a street like, oh god, I hope we don't have one of them on there. But yes, um, it's definitely probably going to get really speculated a lot. Um, but yeah, even a lot of other YouTubers, obviously when I was on SF5, um, even, I even said to them, um, I think it was only one, but I can't really remember. It was definitely surprising to see a single decker come to the Super Loop, and a lot of bus fans definitely agree. I mean, I definitely agree, that's for sure. Yes, it is definitely surprising to see, but also at the same time, it's amazing. Alright, so now let's also talk about SL2. So what could SL2 actually use though? White street lights. Now in my opinion, I actually think, hang on, let me get the book out. Go through some... It would be nice to see one of these. I mean, yeah, it would be brilliant. I mean, look at this. Enviro 200 MMC EV. I think that's how it's pronounced. But yeah, these would actually be really good for for one of the routes, maybe SL4 maybe, I think that's not coming till 2025, so, that will be really annoying, and yeah, yeah, indeed, I definitely think we would be able to see one of them, I could picture it coming, but also a new route master as well, but yes, I definitely think there's going to be lots and lots of videos by other bus fans saying, oh yeah, what other buses could we see on some of the new routes, because SL5, 
we all of us did think it was going to be a single decker, well, not a single decker, a double decker. But yes, we might see another single decker come to the super loop. I mean, that would be pretty cool. But yes, um, yes. So yes, I guess the whole of the super loop bus network won't be completed till 2025. And I'd also say, in my opinion, that some of the shorter um, Superloop routes have got to be definitely SL5 and, of course, SL9 as well. I think them have got to be the shortest route. I think out the shortest route out of all of them got to be SL5. I mean, like it, it feels like it was an hour or something. Same with SL9 as well. I think that was only 45 minutes. Um, but yeah, I have to say, the longest route has got to be... 18, Sudbury and Harrow. SL7 has got to be one of the longest even feels like it. Can you believe it? Heathrow to West Croydon. Oh my gosh, that must have taken about 1,000 years to complete. Now, as you do think about it, it's pretty long. I mean, like, Heathrow to West Croydon, that must have been pretty long, actually. Although I did like it before when it was X26. I did actually quite like that name, actually. And I'm pretty sure I've been on that bus before. Only sort of a short route, really. I'm pretty sure I've been on that route before. And yeah, but I do like, obviously, the Superloop livery. And, of course, like, the inside. So they've also added, well, it's been since 2023. Obviously, once at first in first, uh, you know, operation date. First day of operation. I think they added more, like, luggage areas or, like, more storage areas at, sort of at the back, at the, um, the main deck and not the upper deck. Sounds like it's a pirate ship. SL7's turned into a pirate ship. But no, actually, yeah, it's actually quite good because they should have done that with SL9 as well, because like, there's going to be a lot of people probably from Heathrow Airport are probably w wanting to get that bus to probably like Croydon or like pretty much other areas of West London. But yes, um, I definitely think it's a good idea what they've done with SL7. They should really do that with more sort of like, they should have done that with SL9. Maybe they will in future. Alright, now let's talk about the 607. That was actually quite a popular route. I think it is. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Yeah, it was a quite a popular popular route. And to be fair, I did miss it being 607. It did actually sound quite nice. Even the iBus as well. 607 to White City. 607 to White City. Yes, it was definitely a really good route as well, um, but it still kept the same buses. Mind you, they'll do that with pretty much all of them. Um, it's it's going to be amazing to see all these new Superloop routes come into the future. I definitely can't wait. I think it's SL, yeah, SL3 coming in like two weeks' time, so I'll definitely be there for the first day of operation. So comment down below if you're going to be f there for the first day of operation of SL3. And yes, I think that'll be the end of the video, but thanks for watching this, like, nine-minute video. Well, about to be nine. But yes, thanks for watching the uh, video. And definitely comment down below of what buses you think could come to the um, Superloop for the new routes, SL3, SL2, SL4. I think that's the only three that have got to be done now. So, yeah. Anyways, I will see you in the next video. We are having trouble with um, streaming, so yeah, that might be... Might not have a stream for a while. Yes, anyways, I'll see you in the next video or stream, which will probably come in about... Don't know, more months. Or weeks, or days, or seconds, or milliseconds. Oh my god! That is the end of the video. Goodbye!